I'm going to show you how to construct the circumcircle of a triangle. Now the circumcircle is the circle that touches all three uh, vertices of the triangle, in this case A, B and C, and it's short for the circumscribed circle, the circle drawn around the outside of the triangle if you like. Okay, in order to um, locate the circumcircle, uh, we need to use the perpendicular bisectors of the three sides. So, this is quite easy to draw. Uh, I'm going to start with the side opposite A. Set the compass to a bit more than halfway, that's fine, so I should leave that as it is. Okay, arcs above and below, and then go to B. Cross those arcs. There we are, and then I'll draw in the perpendicular bisector. It's quite important when you're doing this to um, make it as long as possible because it, this, the centre of this circle could be outside the triangle itself. Okay, let's work opposite B now. So I'm going to draw the perpendicular bisector of AC. I need to get the compass a bit wider for this. Make sure the point's right on the vertex. Okay. Arc below, arc above, and point onto A. Intercept there, and there. Okay, let's draw the bisector. It's best to draw these as you go. Um, the diagram's going to get quite cluttered with arcs of circles, and it's easy to lose track if you don't um, draw these in when they're ready so okay there's the perpendicular bisector for AC hope you can see that right angle there and finally side AB probably don't need the compass quite as wide for this one so let's just reduce that a little bit okay mark above and below point on to A Cross those over, and by complete coincidence, that those two have intersected on AC. Doesn't matter. Okay. Now, if I've done a good job, these three perpendicular bisectors ought to intersect at one point. In other words, they're concurrent lines. And that's a bit of a relief. So this point, the intersection point of all three perpendicular bisectors, is the centre of the circumcircle, what we call the circumcentre. Now I just need to hope that my compass will stretch wide enough to draw the circle. So I'll put the point on the circumcentre and then draw out the compass so that it sits on one of the vertices. It doesn't matter which one you pick because it's supposed to go through all of them. Um, and then a, a quick silent prayer. And it ought to go through all three if I've done a good job. Not bad for B. Not bad. Can't quite fit the entire circle on the paper, uh, but you get the idea. So that's the, the circumcircle that goes through all three vertices.